The United States is known for its towering skyscrapers, but the first skyscraper built in America was the Home Insurance Building, located in Chicago, Illinois. Here are some interesting facts about this historic building and its construction. The Home Insurance Building was built in 1885 and completed in 1886. At that time, it was considered the world's first skyscraper, 10 stories high and 138 feet high. The building was designed by William LeBaron Jenny, an architect who is often credited with pioneering the use of steel frame structures in tall buildings. The Home Insurance Building was one of the first buildings to use this construction method, which allowed for much taller and stronger structures than traditional stone buildings. The building was constructed using a system of steel beams and columns that were supported by a foundation of steel piles, driven into the ground. This allowed the building to support its own weight and withstand the strong winds that are common in Chicago. The Home Insurance Building was originally designed to be a nine-story building. But the owner of the insurance company that commissioned the building asked for an extra floor, to be added to make it the tallest building in Chicago at the time. The building was mainly used as office space, and the lower floors were occupied by the insurance company to which it belonged. The upper floors were leased to other businesses, including dentists, lawyers, and accountants. The home insurance building was demolished in the year 1031 to make way for a field building, which itself was later demolished and replaced with a new building in the 2000 years. Despite its relatively short lifespan, the Home Insurance Building has had a lasting impact on the world of architecture. His steel-framed construction method was widely adopted in the construction of tall buildings, and many of the tallest skyscrapers in the world today still use this method. The Home Insurance Building was not the first building to use steel frame construction, but it was the first to use it in a tall building. Other buildings, such as the Rand McNally Building in Chicago, used steel frames for smaller buildings before the Home Insurance Building was built. Although the Home Insurance Building is often referred to as the world's first skyscraper, there is some debate about whether it really deserves the title. Some historians argue that other buildings, such as the Equitable Life Building in New York City, were taller and richer, and should be considered the first skyscrapers. The Home Insurance Building is now largely forgotten by the general public, but it remains an important milestone in the history of architecture and engineering. Its construction paved the way for the development of some of the most iconic and recognizable buildings in the world, including the Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building, and the Burj Khalifa.